everyone, and welcome to another edition of What AIO Loves About the Ocean. I'm Caroline, and today we're going to talk about cool ocean careers that you may not have considered. The way this is going to work is I'm going to show you a number of pictures, uh, and you will see if you can tell what marine career is represented. There are so many. We're just going to look at five today. Um, and then we'll talk about what the career is, uh, and there's a profile from marinecareers.net. Those are the images that you will see. So, let's get started. Here's our first one. Did you get it? Marine archaeologist is the first career that we will talk about, and it's absolutely what it sounds like archaeology underwater. So marine archaeology is the study of past human cultures with an emphasis on how humans interacted with the world's oceans, lakes, and river systems. So absolutely like an archaeologist, they are recording shipwrecks, they're looking at harbors, they're looking at marine artifacts that they find, but a big part of marine archaeology is that aspect of outreach and of using what information they find and they learn to share with the broader community. A marine archaeologist may have a background in maritime studies uh, and also will likely be a certified scientific diver. So if you are really excited about scuba diving, uh, and history, marine archaeology, maybe the field for you. Let's take a look at the next one. Hmm. You got it, marine policy specialist. And there are lots of names that come under this ocean planning, any sort of marine policy. Um, policy, again, is a course of action that guides present and future management and use of marine resources, and it's an incredibly important area. Uh, a marine policy specialist would work to perhaps write uh, these policies and or ensure these policies are in line with the current research um, and make sure that they are enforced as well. There's a really strong interaction between marine policy and marine sciences. And it's really important that a marine policy specialist has a strong background in marine science because it's really important that good policy is based on accurate scientific information. We've got lab work, we've got field work, got an infographic, what could it be? A marine or environmental toxicologist is our next career. You might have been able to figure out what a toxicologist does. An environmental toxicologist studies the effects of toxic chemicals on organisms in their natural, eco natural environments, as well as the ecosystems they belong to. So a marine toxicologist would specifically be studying the effects of toxic chemicals on marine organisms and their environments. And so depending on what particular role you have, a marine toxicologist might do a whole bunch of different things. Um, they may be using computer-based modeling uh, to understand. Uh, they may do, be doing lab lab experiments, and also some field work, as you saw in the images. Marine toxicologists may work with chemicals sort of before they are released on a consumer market to conduct a risk assessment, what would happen if this chemical got out into the marine environment. Uh, they may work with your policy specialist to inform future policy. Uh, and another important part is communicating information with the broader community too, so they can understand uh, the effects that certain chemicals might have on the environment. So there's lots of different paths within a particular sort of career field that we're highlighting, uh, whether it's a toxicologist, the policy specialist, any of these, there's lots of routes even within them that you can take. 
wondering how many people can identify these species. Hmm, what brings those together? You could become an aquaculturist, a farmer of the sea, as it may be. Aquaculture uh, is the farming of aquatic organisms. In Maine, in particular right now, uh, we're seeing a lot of um, mussel, oyster, and kelp aquaculture. Uh, and in particular, we're seeing uh, oyster, and to a greater extent, kelp aquaculture, becoming a complement to the lobster industry. So folks will lobster through the summer, uh, and something like kelp does most of its growing in the winter. And so aquaculturists will harvest their kelp right before they set their traps out for the summer lobstering season. Now, you could be interested in this, but not want to be the actual sort of farmer, the person growing these things. So related fields around aquaculture, and I'm sure that we'll be seeing a lot more pop up in this arena, um, are aquaculture geneticists, uh, economists that are focused on aquaculture and what the future there might look like, and in the, the realm of finfish farming, aquaculture veterinarians is something, and that's the profile that's actually highlighted uh, if you go to marinecareers.net, and I'll share the links with that um, after. Aquaculture is something that I have spoken about at AIO before, and we'll have some updates on this summer as well. Last but not least, hmm, an underwater photographer is a career. So underwater photographers or cinematographers are folks who use underwater photos and film to tell a visual story to communicate about science and particularly about conservation. In terms of conservation, people generally care most about what they can see and what they can connect with. So some folks are using photography and filmmaking to show people environments and ecosystems that they otherwise wouldn't be able to see, whether it's photos of coral reefs and what's happening to them, coral bleaching, or aquifers. This, these are the freshwater springs where your water comes from. Um, showing people those images so that they can connect often helps to increase conservation because it allows people and helps people to care. So if you have an interest in photography, film, uh, snorkeling or diving, conservation, journalism, a career in underwater photography uh, may be one way that you can use journalism to tell the story of our oceans. So as I said, these are just five. There are so many potentials out there. Um, this is a quick sort of survey um, from marinecareers.net that you can go to and answer some questions. And it gives you a sense of what vague area of marine careers you might be interested in. So that could be fun for you to try. Uh, here's the links to the profiles of the scientists. MarineCareers.net does a great job of highlighting uh, the careers, um, the pathways that these scientists got to those careers, potential pros and cons of the careers, and what the outlook looks like. So I would really encourage you to take a look. Uh, thanks also for our other images here.